All right, I just thought I would go over. We sent out an email last night saying we were going to send out some uh, tweets, some real-time picks. Um, so I thought I would go over those today. I've already wrapped up my day. There's about 30 minutes left in the in the session, but uh, I'm done for the day. Don't like trading the last 30 minutes because I like uh, stocks to have a, a chance or setups to have a chance to play out. Um, initially, I called INFN at 813 trigger, a break of this five-minute high. This is the opening candle right here. You can see that big rally it had yesterday. Get my arrows going here. Uh, this big rally it had yesterday. Um, today it opened, put in a narrow five-minute candle, so I liked it above the high of day break there um, with a nice tight stop. However, uh, we revised it. I don't know if I got it out in time for our non-chat room members. I, I sent it out, revised it because you had a couple equal tops here. It held this big move pretty well, so I revised it to a uh, first break of these two candles high. If it if it hit 8.06, um, Oh, okay. I revised it in the chat room. I didn't even send out the revised uh, in the in the tweets. I don't think I'm looking at the tweets right now. I don't see. Oh no, I do. It is there. Eight oh six seven ninety nine stop. Just not sure if I got it out in time. Um, I did get it in the chat room in time. Eight oh six. That's a nice tight stop. Uh, seven cents. Um, and then we did get through the high of the day to that other trigger and got through yesterday's high. That was the reason we liked it. We had catalyst to the left. So eight oh six to eight. Let's see. Eight uh, twenty four. And then the market tanked. Uh, taking it with it and as as you saw um, I put out a tweet uh, great relative strength but had to take some profits because the market was selling off and this followed shortly thereafter um, ended up calling INFN again later in the day above this base okay because it came down took out the low of the day and they bought it right up so then you had a long base with a high of uh, 810 so called it at 811 with a worst case stop um, let me see if I can find it. It was a late afternoon idea, kind of the second call of the day for that one. 804. So another really tight trigger and stop, only seven cents away. Um, and from 811, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I made it to 820. Big deal, right? But I did, I did scalp some there, um, and I'm done for the day, so I'm all out. Um, let me go back, look at the rest of them here. ICO. That was close to 10 o'clock this morning. ICO uh, had an early high of 11.09, and then it revisited close to that. I went to 11.08, called it at 11.10. If, in other words, if it broke the high of the day with a 10.99 stop, the other coals were strong, and right there it hit, and just didn't follow through. Went to like 11.12, came back down, and that one cost about a dime a share. Did not follow through, and you can see later in the day it ripped. But uh, that's the nature of the market. Sometimes that happens. You try to find a low risk trigger and stop. Um, and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Uh, LNG, another example, 941. Um, and I, I'm going to go back and show you a couple of rules I broke on, on both of these, really. Uh, 941, trigger idea. Um, it had a 940 kind of high base here, base high. Uh, and the high of the day was 955. It's been strong lately. Um, and the mistake I made on this one, and uh, I'll go back and show you, um, what was that other one, ICO, was uh, I'm trying to get better at calling entries that are very close to the eight period moving average. Something I didn't used to do, suggestion by one of our members, um, and if you notice, most of my charts don't have anything on them as far as indicators. I've started using this, and if you adhere to that rule, it keep you out of a lot of trouble. Just uh, if it's away from the eight, where your trigger price is based on candles, you probably shouldn't take it and there's a perfect example um, now it did base forever and then take out the highs uh, without stopping um, but it didn't really go anywhere so I time stopped that uh, wasn't too happy with the entry after the fact and I did send out a tweet um, that I was just time stopping uh, LNG I think for about a dime uh, 12 cent uh, loss there because I just ran it ended up coming back to the to the entries but it just never followed through so um, Oh, and let me show you ICO again. Basically the same thing. ICO, when it broke the high of the day uh, up here, it was a, a pretty good distance away from the 8. So, and then, again, not a, not a very clean entry by me. Um, the best one of the day, uh, percentage-wise, GPL. GPL I called at uh, a high of day break, 435. Probably didn't look like much at the time. Um, but I liked it on the daily. I had this two-day high it's already proven to me that it can run pretty nicely see this big green candle big green candle um, and silver stocks 
uh, silver itself was really hot um, and I couldn't believe the risk reward there um, 435 trigger break of the high of the day worst case now 426 so nine cents risk which I mean I guess isn't that great on a four dollar stock but it, it only meandered for a little bit and then took off uh, and then look at this all the way to uh, 468 that's a real nice percentage move from 435 and uh, plenty of volume plenty of volume almost five million shares so it wasn't one of those thin ones um, and GPL definitely the best percentage gainer today later in the afternoon it looks like I uh, tweeted STZ Uh, over 1880 um, it hit 1880 a couple times here finally got through it the stop on STZ uh, was 1872 so only eight cents risk um, and here's where it triggered never came back to 1872 made it almost to 8 to 19 I mean big deal it's just one of those it took forever uh, but it did make you a little money if you took it and the chart looks like maybe it's finally turned here um, uh, and this is an example of one, again, I, I tried to tweet most of the calls today, but RAME, these baby energy stocks uh, were just cranking with oil today, and so RAME um, was one that I called in the chat, and I just simply didn't have time um, to send it out as a tweet, but it just to show you, it was in a nice narrow range, I'd, this was the opening candle right here, the opening five minute candle, had a couple equal highs at $1.90 here, uh, so I called it $1.91. Um, thinking it might follow the other low-priced energy stocks with a dollar eighty-two stop, so less than a dime, um, and this thing just ran all day. It's sitting at two fifteen. It's sitting at the high of the day right now. Again, not a huge move uh, money-wise, but percentage-wise, a nice move. A dollar ninety-one to two fifteen. Uh, that's probably close to ten percent. Um, so a nice move there and again the day's not over yet but uh, see that you can see the nice follow through there so there's a, a low risk setup that uh, never never even came close never even really looked back at the entry after we called it um, and I just didn't get it out as a tweet but our, our, our day trading chat room members did get to take advantage of that one so anyway uh, I'll probably do the tweet thing again next week and there may be a free uh, free pick if I can find a daily chart I like sent uh, to your inbox one of these days too but otherwise if I can't find daily charts I like, I'm going to keep uh, you know picking one day a week to send out these tweets. I didn't have anything huge today, uh, but GPL, hopefully you got some of that one. Very nice percentage gain there. So I'm going to stop babbling. We'll talk to you next week.